course for us. And talk to Mr. Frank, because he used to be the AD at Lexington. He said that it was very comparable to the UNK race, as far as heels, as far as um, probably challenges. Um, it is on a golf course, so you know it's, it's different than ours. Um, so it's a lot smoother. But what I've heard is it's a pretty good course. Okay. Um, are you going to run the fastest times um, of the season on there? Probably not because it's got some hills and we're talking early season. So what I did is I looked at what teams are going to be there. Here are the teams that are going to be there this year. Gothenburg is not. And then I started looking at, okay, who have we seen so far? So you can kind of have an idea of uh, maybe a few of the teams. Um, Axtell and Elwood and Wilcox, all three were at Gibbon last week. Um, Axtell, you can see first boy, their number one boy was 23rd. Um, Elwood, uh, their number one boy was there on 29th. Their girls are pretty decent. They had a girl that placed third right in front of Caitlin. And then their number two girl was 11th, so it would have been um, right behind, um, who was, who was right behind Shayla and she was number 10. Um, and then they kind of fall off a little bit from there. Um, Will Cox was at Given. There were no girls at Rand. Their number one boy was 11. So you kind of, those are the three teams that we've actually seen this year. <laughs>
two, two weeks this week. So tomorrow is kind of like a tempo run type day, and that's really kind of where my, my mind is a little bit. But we're still racing. We're still racing as a team. You guys have set great goals. Um, and uh, make sure you're eating right tonight. Replenish. Go drink some chocolate milk. Whatever it takes. Okay? All right? Lots of liquid. All right? And you hear the show. So, in my word, I'm good. So let's bring it in and you do team picture. Oh, I do? Yep. Okay. Dear Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for Labor Day. Now we just have another day off of school. Thanks for a good practice. I will help us all to stay healthy and have no more injuries. Amen. Sophia Conant, and I'm a junior. I'm Tracia Cole, and I'm a junior. Senior. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a senior. <laughs> I'm Jenny Sanchez, and I'm a senior. I'm Caitlin Tibbs, and I'm a freshman. I'm Allison Everhart, and I'm a freshman. Awesome. Thank you very much, ladies, for taking time after your, your workout today. I know you have a meet tomorrow. How do you think the first meet, which was last week, went, and where are you kind of looking forward to this meet tomorrow? Okay, I can start. Hey, it went pretty well last week in our first meet. So we're just seeing how things are going to be this season. We won it, so that was good. Yeah. And it was hot, and it's like it's the hardest course we run all year. So we like to just run it and just get an idea of how our team is going to be. But for our first meet, it was pretty good. Pretty nice. good challenge with the hills, yeah. That's what I heard. Eight hills in total. Yep. Yeah. Eight hills. And they're huge. And they're huge. Pretty and then a couple of like 180 degree turns. Yeah. Pretty yeah. much. Yeah, pretty, pretty much. much. The hairpin. Oh my yeah. goodness. Nice. So kind of going into that first meet and even tomorrow for your meet, how did the kind of summer training or how has the first few weeks of training gone? The first few weeks of training were pretty tough going off of running all summer and then going through the big group, the big change. It's pretty tough, but then once we got past that first week, it's pretty good. Guys go slow. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. We've been doing a lot of hills, like, just to train for Gibbon, like, in our first few weeks, but now I'm sure we'll do, like, more long miles and speed from now on. <laughs> hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> hopefully. Hopefully no more hills. No more. I know our district is at Fairbury. I yeah. think so, yeah. yeah. And that has a few hills, but so, yeah. got the bad ones out of the way, though. Yeah. Nice. So, going even beyond tomorrow's meet, you have another one later this week. What are kind of the expectations individually or as a team as you go forward through the season? We have really high expectations as a team. Um, we set really high goals this year. We're gonna, our goals were to be district champions this yeah. year and to place top three at state as a team. So. We actually set those goals last year out of cross country and into the track season. We were really shooting for high place in the state. Yes. Yeah. Now, kind of being able to, you know, hang out, hang out with your coaches and hang out with the team today. I've really noticed kind of a, a close knit family feel um, that everybody almost feels like sisters and brothers. And even when you got done with the run today you went back and you were running until everybody came in just kind of describe that and that's for me witnessing that's pretty amazing to witness and see everyone's pretty much like when you come into the season you're already part of the family it doesn't matter if you're a freshman or a senior it doesn't matter we're not like other sports where like you can't run faster than you because i'm older than you <laughs> it's kind of like everything pans out the way supposed to be our biggest thing is faith we have faith in our training and we have faith in each other and that's really big for us we do a lot of team bonding too yeah 
we do bonfires, s'mores, yeah. we just dance, and have we meet suppers, <laughs> food basically. <Three. laughs> One love, running. It's food. Other that, one's food, and that's why we run is for the food, right? So we can eat whatever we want for the most yes. part. Yeah. 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 I'd say it's like the only sport I've ever done that's like this. Even track, we have like a lot of the same people, but it's not, there's, it's not the same. It's not. I feel like cross country is the only sport that's really. So, like such a close family. It's like our second family pretty much. Yeah. That's like the main reason I do cross country is for yeah. the team atmosphere. Yeah. Like yeah it's family. Really fun. And the teams, like the team suppers, like we said that yeah. we weren't going to have one today because of Labor Day, but we normally have a team supper before the meet just to like settle every everyone in for their meet and like make sure they understand that like this is a team and everyone's expected to do well. Thank you very much, ladies. Good luck tomorrow and the rest of the season. I look forward to seeing you out to meet, especially at state meet. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hi there. I'm uh, Taylor, and I am a junior this year. I'm Turner Schaefer, and I'm a sophomore. I'm Sebastian Bullhauer, and I'm a sophomore as well. I'm Cameron Anderson, and I'm a senior. Uh, Jackson Johnson, freshman. I'm Noah Sass, I'm a sophomore. I'm Adam Eddy, I'm a junior. I'm Greg Wurst, Ross, I'm a freshman. Excellent. Thank you guys for having me. It was really um, fun to kind of go around this trail that you have around the school a mile loop. That That is awesome for training and this kind of pre-meet stuff. Which You guys had a meet last week. How did that go? It went well. It went really well. Um, last year we had two of our best runners graduate, so it's kind of a new field this year to see how we would do. And I thought we competed well. We only got second by eight points. So. And we've, and we've got a meet tomorrow, um, so what are kind of the expectations going in tomorrow's meet then, since you had a really good first meet in Gibbon? Well, um, we've never ran there before, so we're a little nervous, and we're going to kind of approach it like it's practice. We're going to take it as a speed week, or a speed day for our week of practice, and just going to hope for the best. It's not sport, so we're just going to give it our all. How did um, everybody's kind of training go in the summer or as the season started these first few weeks that we've had? How's it been going? It went all right. Uh, <laughs> we had uh, multiple camps this summer. Like we had the Pacers camp for elementary kids, for middle school kids. We had one for high school and cross country. And we had our own camp for practice. And uh, I think we had a few people over 300 miles. And to over 200 miles, so it's pretty awesome. Excellent. Coach really doesn't, she she always pushes us to get uh, miles in every summer, so uh, every year, I know at least I try to get more and more every, in every year, so this year I really try to go more aggressive and uh, hopefully that translates for all of us this year. Uh, pretty much every practice, we like to stick together and uh, keep in touch and uh, just keep on going with cross country and having having more. So. What are kind of the um, the expectations, not just at this next meet, and I know you have one later this week as well, but throughout the season, and maybe even looking forward, you know, to state is that a goal? Yeah. Um, past two years we've made to state, both boys and girls, and this year we're looking to make it back. So every day we're trying to get better and working towards that goal. We really want to try to push it this year. We changed conferences. Uh, so it's going to be a little bit more of a challenge. Uh, so that just gives us a little bit more incentive to keep pushing and keep getting better every day uh, to meet that goal. And one thing I talked about the girls is just kind of the family atmosphere. Um, you guys didn't stop running until the last person was in. You actually ran and then came back. Is that just something natural? Is that something you work on? Is that, you know, that was nice to see, I guess, as a, as a coach. Well, it's kind of natural, like we just want to make sure everybody's having a good time and keep a positive atmosphere so that everybody is enjoying it, I guess. Do you guys have, um, like, I guess, team bonding um, activities that you do during the season? Well, every uh, every day, except for this one because it's Labor Day, but every day before meet, we'll have a pre-meet supper. Uh, and that usually consists of eating a lot of carbs. Carb load. Carb load, yeah. yeah. <laughs> And then uh, playing some kind of game of the volleyball, so that always boosts our, our chemistry.
Excellent. Thank you, gentlemen, very much. Um, good luck tomorrow and good luck through the season. I, I look forward to seeing you at, at Kearney on October 21st at State. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.